Gigi the Gadget Goddess, and this is my third case video. We're gonna call this chapter three of unboxing cases for the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Z Fold 2 Adventures with Kimmy the Gadget Goddess. <laughs> Let me stop. Hopefully, third time's a charm. Got my boy Yoda here. Maybe he'll bring me some luck. So we're gonna get right into this. How you feeling about this one, Yoda? I need you to use some of your powers to let me know if this is gonna be the one. I'm gonna leave the phone in the case right here with Yoda until we can get this bad boy unboxed. Y'all ready? Let's get it! This is the Gear 4 Crystal Palace case. This case uses D30 Crystal X and the clearest, thinnest, most advanced protection material in the world. Okay, that's what it says. It's a slim design, anti-yellowing, and treated with antibacterial technology. And it's designed specifically for the Samsung. It is clear. Let's see around back. Six feet drop protection, slim design, edge to edge protection. That's what we've been looking for. Proven to protect for sports, Motorcycles, industrial, military, and electronics. It has a limited lifetime warranty at gear4.com. And I see down here at the bottom, some Zag references. How about that? This case will run you $49.99. I picked this up from verizon.com. And I have 14 days. So if this doesn't work, it'll go back just like all the rest of them I bought. So let's get into this. Um, the presentation is lovely. Like, you see that? I just slid that out and it was like, bow! Ultimate drop protection. And then you have your sports, motorcycle, industrial, military in there too. But I like this. So far, so good. It's impressed me. Like, this is probably the cleanest kind of unboxing I've had where it's just nice and pretty. Now, I will tell you up front, I read about this on a forum. So, I do know there's some issues with the fingerprint sensor. And I haven't even put it on yet, but that's just some things I've heard. I'm more of a face unlock kind of gal. So if the fingerprint doesn't work while it's closed, it's not going to kill me per se. You know, I lift the phone, it sees me and it unlocks. So I'm cool with that. They said, you know, it's blocked when the phone is closed. But either way, let's get into it. Let's get the phone out of its protective pouch that it stays in all the time. I have put the box receipts and everything to the side just in case we need those. I've learned to keep those kind of things around. We're still in good shape. Z Fold looks great. Probably needs a little wipe down, but we're in good shape. No cracks, no nothing. That right there. I don't even want to pull this out of the box. It's so nice. And it just comes right out. So that's the back. A little divider in there and here's the front. Okay, already I'm kind of happy about the front. Most of the cases I've had so far had really thick pieces on the front, but I guess I won't know that until I get that on the phone. I always go in back first. Don't ask me why. There's a little piece of tape or something. Glue, maybe? Get that out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Sorry about the dogs. Sorry about the neighbor's dogs. Let's see, snaps right on. It will be a fingerprint magnet, but man, that feels nice. Okay, open that up. Everything's lovely on the inside. And let's get this other piece on. Wow. All right, it is a little thicker on than I assumed, but I see where people say they your, your finger has to go down into this hole for it to work. So people are like, oh, you have to open it up a little bit. Yes, my finger's not fitting down in there unless I open the phone up a little bit and then the fingerprint sensor is gonna work. I do see the microphone is off a little bit, just slightly. Have to make a phone call here in a minute, see how that works out. Okay, speaker, charging port. Volume up and down is good. It's it's kind of pressy now. You you do have to you have to be a little forceful with it. Power that off. I'll stick my fingernail in there and uh, lock my phone. Up here, 
mic is great and the speaker's fine so the top looks better than the oh that's the back piece so the back piece has the microphone okay no it's the same the microphone just oh, there we go it need to be pushed on i'm sorry y'all user error i don't need to make the phone call because everything's lined up now right the hole for this the, the mic is fine now i just didn't have it pushed all the way on so far so good i don't see my screen lifting as case number two we had the screen liftage going on but here let me let me pull it back off and see the fight to get the case off the screen did not lift people i'm kind of impressed so far y'all impressed y'all excited if the biggest issue I have is not being able to get to the fingerprint sensor, hey, I'm I'm good. I'm swiping, I'm good. Oh, pull out from the side isn't that bad. Sorry, y'all, I got a little reflection here. Okay, there it is. I might have to move that further down because it seems like down when I go lower, I'm just the thumb is just easier to work. I had to go in and get a charging cord because we don't keep those outside. USB type C that I usually use, not the one included in the box. I know a lot of techies are like me. I use the power brick from my laptop <laughs> and it charges faster, but no issues there. Plugs right in, just fine. So I'm gonna have to say, all around I give this phone a A minus, maybe a B. It's functional. It shows off the greatness of my phone. It is a little slick, but I mean, I expect that from clear cases, but I'm happy. Like, I don't think I'm gonna have to send this one back. Out of all the phone cases I've tested so far, this has been the best. And it truly doesn't look, wait, let's, let's see if we got a lip here. Forgot to look at that. Eh, it's a slight lip. It is a slight lip because there's a ridge that goes down into the camera here to make a lip around the camera. So the branding's not excessive. You have a, a Gear 4 here, protected by D30 and the little orange mark over there that they could have probably left off. So that leather case that I had, it slightly tore my hinge there. So I'm gonna leave this hinge on, this hinge protector on, until we get things, you know, we know this is the way to go. no movement here none I can't move this case at all this is awesome I can move the front though and a lot of people said that's the problem I'm gonna end up with with the front piece the front is very movable but the back clicks right into place I guess I can deal with movement on the front more so in, than on the back hmm, I, I feel okay I'd rather not pay $50 for a case but it's an investment you protect your investment I always say that in my videos and I'm saying it now. Is this Yoda approved? I don't, I don't know how to take that one, Yoda. So, here we are. The Gear 4. And let me go out on a limb by saying I'm sure this case will not work for everybody. Uh, this case will work for me because I'm looking for something clear. And I don't really need the power button quickly like some do. And this doesn't end my journey with cases by any means. This just ends my journey with using this pouch. That being said, I needed something to tie me over until more cases come in. I'm looking to see what companies like Rinky have to offer. Um, I'm hoping maybe Nimbus 9 will throw their hat into the ring, but you just never know with companies. I know Rinky is making something. I'm not sure about Nimbus 9. There's certain case companies that I find to be reliable and I'd like to see stuff from them because I trust these companies because I've used them for years. I put that in as a disclaimer and say, hey, this isn't the perfect case for anybody, but that's why I let you know. I already knew about the power button when I purchased this case. Some people didn't know about a power button. Okay, Yoda, let me wrap this up. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it enough to like it. And if you want to see more of my coverage on the Galaxy Z Fold 2, or if you want to catch my coverage on the iPhone 12 Pro Max when I receive it, make sure you're subscribed to the channels with the alerts on. You know how we in these things. Holla!